at its core, it, it's about relationships. But the actual plot of it is basically about a uh, a woman who uh, who forces uh, her husband to compete uh, to design uh, the same raw space apartment with a, another a younger hotshot uh, architect. He is an eccentric. He is very much in love with his wife. Is a little idealistic, a little lost. Driven, ambitious, very talented uh, architect, visionary. Some might say. Uh, dishonest, a little dishonest as well, and um, the, his arrogance costs him. Wears her heart on her sleeve and doesn't really have an edit button. Has a lot to say and is not afraid to say it. I find her to be a little entitled, a, a little bitchy, but it goes with that. <laughs> and a sexual panther. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I think all the characters are really smart and likable. Yes! And they're, they're, um, and they're cosmopolitan, and they're sexy, and they're, they're tuned in. And I mean, it is a play about creation. Uh, you know, the title, of course, uh, it actually has, a, it has its uh, double entendre to it, um, because it is about architecture, but it is also about what we have to pay to be able to create. What is at stake as we, as we create our environments, our lives, our relationships? I think the play like life is a machine that's designed to wear everything away and leave you eventually with the truth. And it's a very funny play as well. I mean, it's about relationships and all, you know, and there's of course drama that's involved and high drama that's involved with this piece, but it's also very funny. Uh, I, I tend to uh, write about uh, flawed people, and we're all flawed people, obviously. Another thing I love about this play is the theatricality of it. Um, the story is told in what you think seems like a normal theatrical um, fashion sort of unfolding straight forward uh, and then something happens in the middle of the first scene uh, and you realize oh wait a minute that we're not exactly going this ride isn't going to be a linear ride straight through. I'm mostly interested in the cracks where we start to see really who someone is so you more deeply understand them and presumptions or assumptions that you made in the beginning you find later on are sometimes completely wrong. <laughs>